At one time, Nick Fay was mocked to go number one and two of the 2011 uh, NFL draft. Uh, also, we ended up falling to 13. But you, you, you can't tell me you can't draw that same parallel to Jalen Carter right now. Character issues, uh, dealing with cars, yeah. former national champion, extremely like, talented. Is he willing to put in the work? I don't know. And then to Chris's point, he thought the culture is what's going to turn that around. Mm-hmm. Having Aiden Hutchinson there and him naturally wanting to compete. Do you know what's the defensive line rookie that Aiden Hutchinson was been compared to this past season in terms of like numbers? He even got a shout out from this guy. He's my, one of my favorite players. Fellow light skin is Dominican Sue. Dominican Sue, monster defensive lineman. Aiden Hutchinson got compared to him? Yeah, his rookie numbers. He's the only, only rookie to put up those. Uh, I forget the exact stat, but the only comparison, the only guy next to it was Dominican Sue. But nonetheless, that would have been Nick Fairley's competition, right? That would have been the guy he was bred to compete against at mm-hmm. the same exact position, even. They were supposed to be dogs together. That never turned Nick Fairley around. Nick Fairley still struggled. You think the culture that was established back then is the same as the culture of the Detroit Lions right now? Yeah, I the, think there's a vast difference. No, I, I, no, no, no. I, I, I'd, I'd say the difference is probably yeah, in the front office, correct? Yeah, and yes. coaching. Within the football and field. And the entire coaching team and the entire coaching staff? No, the coaching staff, that was a great culture. I have friends, again, Glover Quinn, speak with him multiple times, Darius Slay. Glover Quinn came here because of that culture. Reggie Bush came here because of that culture. Like, guys guys were coming here to Detroit to compete and to win. Yeah. Like, the restore of the roar with Jim Schwartz, like, that's the closest simulated to Dan Campbell in terms of, like, our lifetimes, at least, think of the line coaches. Jim Schwartz had some spunk to him. Jim Schwartz had that fucking, like, that grit to him. Remember the Jimmy Handshake yeah, game? Yeah, that was the Jim dumbest Harbaugh? shit I've ever seen. For sure. But there was, there was culture there. They were dogs. They made the playoffs. 